And here we are. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work this morning. Extra special big up shout out to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Shout out to my entrepreneurs, my stay-at-home moms and pops, my retirees. Shout out to the drivers, the Uber driver, the Lyft driver, the truck driver, taxi driver, food delivery drivers, round town, long distance drivers. Shout out to every single clean-hearted, good-hearted person who wants good for others as much as you want good for yourself. You're a good person. You deserve some respect. Shout out to you. It's the freaking weekend, baby! <laughs> clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. We made it through another week and we're still here. A lot to give thanks for. We didn't pass away this week. <laughs> Woo. Hey, remember, I know we don't control time, so this could have been a week. Any one of us, we still here. If you're here to hear, it's the freaking weekend, baby! You made it through another week. Give thanks. Yes. Give that. You might not be there for next week. Um, get your ducks in order and continue to give thanks. Hear me now. Big things are gone. Big things are gone. Big things are gone. Uh, looking at this icon that I created this morning for this specific live and looking at Shelly and Fraser Price. And let me have to show off my icon. Well, on there. Shelly and Fraser Price. And uh, Sherika Jackson and the, the two diamond princesses with their diamond trophies. I know somebody in there want to talk about the queen dead and uh, all these things. We're going to get into all that. But <clears throat> that that thing right there. Look now. Y'all look, look, at, look at them. Zane. Diamond princesses with their diamond trophies. How fitting. How fitting. Right? I'm not a betting man. I'm here to lose money. I hate to spend money. But I hate to lose, I hate to lose money frivolously. I hate to spend money on things I actually need, much less to go, you know, bet and lose. So, but I called it yesterday and I said that's where I was gonna put my money at. Shelly and Fraser Price was going to take the 100 meters, which she did. And she took it in fine style. And Sharka Jackson was going to take the 200, which she did. And she took it in fine style. This is Sharka Jackson's first 200 meter gold. Took Diamond League with our big, big trophy. And this is Shelly and Fraser's fastest time for the entire year. And Shelly has been running throughout the season and constantly improving. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at something right now. It really does get greater later. You got to stick it through the course, don't? You know, um, I wish I could tell that to some people who were so down and out that they actually like take them on life or something like that. Like it does get greater later, man. You got to stick it out. You got to believe. You got to put some work in, you know. You have to be persistent with it too. I look at Shelly and Fraser Price and I'm thinking, is she aging backwards or because her, how how is she getting faster, stronger as she's getting older, and this ain't getting older from like child old. So you know you have picnic strength, and then you have grown man strength and grown woman strength. This is like she's. This is the age group where in this type of sport you're supposed to be tapering off, and she's dominating, like unapologetically dominating. If you mention this sport, you can't mention this sport without mentioning her name. So shout out to her for that. She's aging fine like wine, Carrie Ann Jones said. Boy, uh, yeah, yeah, I would say. I would say. I'll pack it, rocket husband now. He must say, boy, I must see in a good shape, car. <laughs> and she's a Caribbean woman, so I know she's spicy. I know she's spicy. She might not show it, but she do show it sometimes. Every now and then you get a glimpse. Because Shelly and... Shelly and Shalian had struck me before as the type that was like, I wouldn't say uppity. I'm not going to use that word. She has struck me before as the type that was kind of like extremely reserved, very conservative, and well refined, right? But every now and then you get a glimpse as she reveals more. Like the other day when they reveal all those videos where she was making all them joke there, 
and just basically I enjoy life, I enjoy herself. I was like, I've never seen this side of her before because I've seen all business before or straight to the point and cut. And that's the Shelly and that I know. So it was good to see the other side of her. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, I'll always stay the same way. I'll always stay the same way. Make sure she have two bumbo clots in her too. Uh, Frigged her the wrong way. <laughs> you know, oh my God, that it, it can't be you, Miss. <laughs> yes, it is. So big up to her, man. And shout out to Sherika. Jeez, I can't, I can't stop saying how Sherika has shut me up. For the rest of the year, I have learned now not to bet against these women. I can't even pit them against each other. because. And you know, I, I'll take that. I'm man enough to say I'll take that. Somebody said, Soflo, you can't pit them against each other. Because on any given day, Shalian might get a bad start. Sherka get a perfect start and she end up beating Shalian. I said, nah, maybe Elaine, but not Sherika. Repeatedly. So, Flo, you can't pit them against each other because Ilian this, Shelly and that, sure that. And I've learned now that that is true. Even though Elaine did not make it this far in for the season, shout out to her too. She's our princess too, our diamond princess too. She been there and done that. She rocked it. She killed it. She did it at the Olympic level. She did it. You know, she unified both the 100 and the 200 at the Olympics. Ain't nobody else out there with that title still. And her world record 100 meter still stands. So even beyond all that, still big up to Elaine thompson Hurrah. She is still that girl to beat. But finishing out in fine style for the year and making Jamaicans able to beat up them chest. Oh, no, no. We're going already. We're going. Well, extra on them something that beat up with chest like that. Yeah. They, they, they gave us that. I woke up this morning and I saw a headline that says Noah Lyles beats Usain Bolt's record, 200 meter record. And I was like, oh, damn, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Not that I don't wish good for our American athletes. You know, I live here. I was schooled here. My children are growing up here. Of course, I'm cheering for the red, white, and blue as well. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know. I was like, no, nah, I'm not I'm not ready to see that yet. But if it's out there, make it happen. Make it happen. And it turns out it wasn't so. It wasn't so. So big up to the ladies that we got some good news on the table. Uh Shelly and Fraser Price, Sharika Jackson. We went right into that. The house fire with the kids. Something about that house fire with those kids are bothering me, which I'm gonna get into. Um I am asking those who are sensitive and like to defend people who are not being attacked to come with your open mind this morning. All right? Don't come on the defense this morning. Me no know who never get no good loving last night or hasn't in a while. And you wake up feeling extra crabby and feel like you can't take it up on so flow and say all the wrong things. I'm just going to speak my mind this morning because... I'm kind of, mm, something, something is off about that house fire, but we're going to rehash it. However, there's good news attached to that situation as well, which we're going to talk about. All right. And of course, we're going to talk about Queen Elizabeth um, kicking the bucket. She's dead. She is no longer here. And now Jamaica has a king instead of a queen. But you know, say I want king me, no, still two, really. Bob Marley passed on gone. Jamaica king that. Um, Sizzla Colonji is still there. I would have give him that king. So, I don't know what Charles are going about. We have, to <laughs> we have to go talk about it. We have to go talk about it. All right. This is England's first king in over 100 years, I believe. Kaita Jai Empress. Good for them. Good for them. We're going to talk about it. And some people are going to be sensitive. I said, yesterday, I was floating around between a chat room and uh, here and there and testing the temperature of my people as they talk about the queen passing. Let's, let's, start, let's start out like that. Let's start out like this. Um, yeah, yes, yes, Kaita Jai Empress. Me, me your way, I say. Me your way, I say. I was testing the temperature, you know, and of, of our people. And um, 
to see. Me have to rub my head side. So you know when time people have headache, or when you see some foolishness and you're just like, oh, I need a Panadol, Fenzi, two Tylenol, extra strength, something. Uh, when you see stuff like that, you're like, what are they? Because our people were in mourning. They were in mourning. A lot of folks are like, oh my God, Queen is dead. Uh, may her soul rest in peace. She was a wonderful queen. And at Mississauga, I look in the Jamaica news and I saw she was a wonderful leader. I'm like, this is front page Jamaica news. Like she was a, the world has lost a wonderful leader is the, is the headline title. I'm like, mm. she never looked into the vibes cartel case and free him before she passed. So I kind of have her up on the fence for that. I actually said in the chat room yesterday that I hope she goes into the ancestral realm and she buck up in her. My ancestors who they did slave and they did torture and they did rape, pillage and plunder and they are there to greet her and they dole out some treatment where it is eternal. And that's the eternal hell now, you know. When the, when the preacher said, your soul will burn in hell. Eternal damnation. Uh, yeah, I said, ah, uh, sex without marriage. Ah, uh, the little something still, but him said, me I got burn in a hell kind of thing. So you're stuck in between the fence now. And then, you, uh, maybe, me have, maybe me can pray about it and forgive myself. So you got to take a little one, two over the song, come back. Then you feel guilty now. Now you're like, Lord God, me I got burn in a hell. That kind of stuff. Yeah. That place there that they talk about, whatever that place is. I just envision it as all our ancestors are lined up there, right? And they're holding court and everybody are do them thing in that realm there. And she come through now. And them I talk and them I say, yo, you don't know, say Elizabeth I come. Which Elizabeth? You want what did they are England that Elizabeth, that girl, come. We have planned for our party. Wait till she come. Wait till she come. Y'all go see. <laughs> so hey, this is beyond me. This is, I'm not in that realm yet. This is beyond me. I'm just saying. I hope that, you know, she go, she go into that realm and get sought out. Sought out proper. Cause Jamaica still not get no reparations. I mean, you're crying about the queen passing. One thing I know about them is, one, they don't give two it's about you. Two, I have to say it. I have to say it. Two, I'm not going back my tongue again. Two, they will be rich forever. Off of stuff they stole from you. Uh, while you will, um, a lot of you will probably still be handing down poverty, recycling poverty for generations to come. Like your grandkids are going to have to start from scratch. Like how you did start from scratch. And your children did start from scratch. And nobody never have nothing to give nobody. For, you know, they, and, and they, they, they've elevated themselves to the elite. The elite of the elite. So with that said, I mean, she came, she saw, she left. I don't understand what the whole woo who is about. She lived until she was 90-something years old. That's a long life to live. We don't know too much people that hit 100, you know. That's a long life to live, not true? I guess, like somebody said yesterday, a lot of people spent a lot of years saying, long live the queen, and now that the queen is dead, they're in shock. But it's normal stuff that's going to happen to all of us. Me and the hopes that we make it that far. In good health. In good health. 96. That's a whole leap of years of wickedness and white supremacy, my friend. 96. That's a long time. So she came and she had a run. I know you have people that talk about Charles is in there. So now Charles is king. And... um. Now is a good time for Jamaica to apply for the reparations because Charles might have a change of your now and get nothing from them. 
me are telling that right now. They they have signed off in their minds that you're not getting nothing from them. I don't want to discourage people from speaking about reparations because we don't discourage people from speaking about their atrocities in their past. We know who me attack, right? The people them with the star, we have the couple of sides on it and them thing that, yeah. We don't, every time their story come up, it gets turned into Hollywood movies and they, it lives on forever. So we don't discourage them about speaking about all the things that were done to them. I don't want to discourage my people from speaking about all the things that were done to us. It's important to speak about these things. It's important to never forget. It's important to remember who did what to who. That's important. So you don't walk around here blindly thinking, everybody loves me. They're all my friends because it's not so, you know, we live in a real world, real time, and we've really seen what's been happening. With that said, no ill feelings towards them. It just is what it is. They chose where they will stand in history and that's it. It, 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 it included climbing on the backs of others and down pressing others in order to elevate their kingdom and in order to maintain their kingdom. And that's what it is. That's just my view of that. And I can't, what may I go do? Make up story and lie, pretend like everybody else. I can't. So it is what it is, right? The queen had just actually, or according to them and their news, uh, the prime minister of Jamaica was just appointed by the queen to her council. So, and he became a knight or something like that. Um, the right honorable Andrew Holness has another title to his name through that queen. Yeah, she reigned a long time. She lived a good life. She had opulence throughout her entire life. Luxury beyond our wildest dreams. Power at the tip of her fingers beyond our wildest dreams. She lived a, a good life. She lived the kind of life that most of us would only dream of. I could probably say all of us will only dream of. But it's over now. All right? And so shall it be. Everything has a date to end. An expiration date. And every human has a date with death. A destiny date with death. So, hey. More power to them. This whole Charles giving us reparation thing, though, I'm, I'm asking y'all to just... Go ahead and apply for it and all that if you feel like it. But And if you send a petition my way, I'll sign it too. But I'm telling you right now that I'm convinced that they have made up their minds. First of all, matter of fact, first of all, if you rich and wealthy, if you rich and wealthy and reparation means giving away your wealth in order to appease other people, nah, go happen. Now I'm gonna Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Hi, SoFlo. Good morning. How you doing? Yeah, good afternoon from the UK. Ah, good afternoon. So, yeah, so you know you're talking about uh, the Queen. Yes, I am. And you're yeah, calling so from you the know, UK, right? Yes, I'm All calling right. from the UK. Okay. So you know one thing that really like bothered me about the old royal family talk, talk. is like with Ari and Megan. You know when all that was happening in the palace with Ari and Megan, mm -hmm. the queen had the power to like to stand up for them. You understand? The queen even had the power to stand up for Megan when Ari when, and when, Megan. Yeah, when the media in the UK was smashing her. The Queen had the power to stand up for her then too. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Do you notice how they report stories when they compare her to um what's her name? Kate? To Kate, yes. Yeah, for for her. Like for instance, I'll give you a good example. Kate wanted some flowers changed out in the grand old cathedral that they were having some ceremony in. And Kate's excuse was she this is her this is her day this is a girl's day and she wants things her way and the media goes well 
who wouldn't want the what woman wouldn't want things her way on her grand day, right? So they right. went above and beyond and did all these changes. When it came time for Megan now, and Megan said she wanted the windows opened and the place aired out because it literally smells like the age that that place is in there. And she didn't want you know, her guest being in there and that old smell. So air it out and bring in some flowers. And these were her favorite flowers, right? And mm -hmm. front page news, she is inconsiderate because one of the children has an allergy. This could have been deadly for the child. And I was like, and this is how they yeah, do it they all like, the time. Yeah. yeah. Very mean. Very yeah. mean. They beat the brakes off her for her one drop of black blood that she has in her. That's it. That's yeah. it. it. It's really like, you know, make you look <laughs> and think that. But she's the queen. Mm -hmm. Where is your power to say, this is my grandson? She doesn't and care about that. Life. He was an outcast after he took. You think that you think that conversation didn't happen behind the scenes? You think that conversation I didn't know. happen behind the scenes? I that think, one of those don't I bring that in here, boy. I'm telling you, oh my God, he's doing it. Oh, so you're oh, you, listen. You're out of the well. You're going to be disowned. And he said, I don't care. And he kept on going, right? And then they figured out, ah, we can't even disown him, but we're gonna try to separate from him. Yeah, and then with that interview with Oprah and. And, you know, he was like saying that someone was asking mm -hmm. what color is the, the baby. child going to be? Uh -huh. How dark is the baby going to be? Yeah. And that was like, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. but yeah. So listen, there's so much hypocrisy here, man. Trust me. There's so much hypocrisy here. But it's just a pity that, you know, mm -hmm. we have to be in the same place as these people. Yeah. And, and they hold, a, in most cases, they hold a handle. And we hold a blade, my friend. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and it was on the news last night. They were talking about Jamaica. Mm -hmm. That Jamaica is going republic. Yes. Like Barbados. Uh, right. That's what's been said. We, we yeah. will wait to see, though. Yeah, we wait to see that. Yeah. yeah but... Yeah, it's just it's just a big mess, and it is what it is. Yeah, we, we listen. Let's put it this way: my heart's not broken, and I'm not hurting. I'll put it that way. That's it. Yeah, I'll put it that way. That's it. I she's, won't. She's I won't be disrespectful. I, I won't be. As well, uh, yeah. Uh huh. And and how much? <laughs> mm -hmm. And you see how you see how he didn't get in no trouble though, right? Mm -hmm. They paid yes. a whole lot of money yes. and whisked him <laughs> off to safety. Right, mm -hmm. right, that's it, yeah. But yeah, it's just all like this old slavery thing and yeah, so how they treat black people and, you know, my, it never stops. My queen's dead, yes, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, more, <laughs> hey, more power to I them. So <laughs> Big up just yourself. Uh, you're going back in the life. All right, love, love. Big up. Okay, much love. Bye-bye. <laughs> Big up my UK family. Listen, uh, <laughs> we're not hurting. We're not hurting. We're, and, and I won't be disrespectful either because I still need the Privy Council to take a good look at the Vibes Cartel case. I don't want them to be like, oh, them people, there's big fans of Vibes Cartel. Hey, stick him some more. I said, no. Uh, you know, them play a petty and you might not think things that are said are affected in a certain way, but it is. Or things might go down in a certain manner, but it is. But I'm just speaking facts and even they know the facts. They know for a fact that England will never give Jamaica reparations. That's factual. They've already signed off on that. They've already made their peace with that. It's not going to happen. Make them beg, no matter how much different way they beg, plea, it's not going to happen. So cancel it. But I'm not going to tell the people to cancel it. I'm just going to tell them to get reparations any which way you can. I won't spell that out. You do the math. I'm just saying, you know, uh, that's that. That's that. Um, <laughs> L.A. Lewis dropped down. Somebody said L.A. Lewis collapsed when he heard the news of his grandmother. <laughs> of his grandmother passing. Somebody go check for L.A. I'll make sure I say, all right, because, you know, L.A. said he was the royal. He was one of the royal sons. And he is related to... Charles and the rest of them. He's related to the royal. Mad sick head not good. 
he's related to the <laughs> to the royal family, you know. And I saw a front page yesterday. L.A. Lewis collapses after hearing um, news. Of, uh, no, I don't know if it's real, and I'm guessing it's not really real. But he held on to that belief and uttered it to us, the public, for years. See, which is one of the things that made people say he was delusional. I think L.A. even fly out of Jamaica one time, but we think him fly go like Cuba or one of them other Caribbean islands and stood up beside some brick buildings. And then I remember when YouTube first started, when people weren't too sure if about cropping pictures. You know how you could have take out yourself and put yourself in our next picture. So LA used to do stuff like take out himself and put himself in pictures with the royal family and the queen and stuff. And in post it, I said, this was at my last visit to the UK and so and so. And I actually, he did one of them so good that I, me, Actually looked at it and I'm it's like, is he was he really there or me I look on it something so in the car me I, like Tanta Blocks and me I meticulously scrutinized the thing because like whoa he was there like he really did get to meet the queen. Come to find out it was the, just a damn good copy of <laughs> it was just a damn good copy and it was a good copy. It was a damn good copy of a crop. Uh you know your edit and crop and Put in yourself, yeah. So yes, I was in Switzerland this weekend, and then we flew out to uh, this place, and then we were in Amsterdam, and then we flew out, uh, and we were in South Africa for the weekend, partying it up. I let do just take himself and just put himself in a different places. That boy, them mad till mad like shot is what they used to say. But hey, big up to LA Lewis. I hope it wasn't true. Same collapse for real, but I wouldn't be surprised. He probably do a fear collapse and. <laughs> And these things. But LA, I'm going to ask LA is this. I saw your family wicked brother that them couldn't send the private jet to come pick you up. They couldn't even send a ticket for your flight commercial. Come see the family like they didn't want to see you. Are you the ostracized member of the family? Maybe in the two block. That's why. Maybe in the two block. Anyhow, the maroon with the queen granny. <laughs> The maroon with the queen. You know to say I'm mad people is mad as shad. In need a visa. It's funny they're talking about. <laughs> it's funny they're talking. Let me say something else about L.A. Lewis, right? I think L.A. would be a better comedian than he would be an artist. As in a recording artist. Can L.A. keep on tell people about him a recording artist? Did y'all hear... I'm not going to be on the phone there. Hold on there. LA would have be a better comedian. Car, uno, uno, somehow not new to this YouTube experience. Uh, uno, uno wasn't here for the early part. Hold on there. LA Lewis. I'm showing you something. And see it there. I think y'all missed this. Mm-hmm. L.A. Lewis does remix of Adele's song with Adele. With Adele. Y'all saw that? Oh, remember Adele? Hey, you calling me. I was wondering if after all these years... How long pull up, L.A. No, I you saw me. Well, lads, we have to play this this morning in your car and, and take it copyright infringement and then take it back out of the video. Well, on it. Out of the voice of the one called Mr. L.A. Lewis alongside Adele. Here we go. As we move juggling into the early morning, remember them dance there? Hello. Hello. Girl, I hear you calling me. Hi. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like. Let's see if we did it. I don't know, girl. You're not easy. Hi. They say the time is supposed to hear. All I'm pulling that up and bring it from the very top again. So flow. What I'm doing now. I never know about all them something there. L L L L. <laughs> One more time from the very top. See it, yeah? Astelios, 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 Astelios,
singing at a show up and then and <laughs> or when you're singing in the car and then somebody turned off the car stereo and ugly your voice car <laughs> miss all good miss all good oh i'm telling her oh, where are you girl and then i love you <laughs> yo ellie i'm not somebody here so ellie this 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 was listed as an official remix that was authorized by Adele. Which one you say? Which, if Adele ever said that she fight, everybody will make that go up on um, YouTube. And that man try to tell him. Like, why y'all got this man doing my song like this? But I'm telling you that LA could be a better comedian than he would be a singer. Because I mean, I know no song. And that's the only song me know from LA Lewis. That song there. And then a theme song. <laughs> he is the master of editing. Yeah, splice. Uh, it's funny because when the whole vibes cartel thing did happen, LA did come out and say, I don't know about splicing. Me know about splicing. I mean, I tell us that a voice got to splice up and we can show you <laughs> splice it up. I said, Yeah, because I see you, me see your work. I see your work. You really know about splicing. And them time they see me, how did he do that? But it sounds like they were at the same place and him shoot the black and white video for match fear video to you know. He might have gone around and go find somebody donkey in our stable and make a donkey look like horse or all kind of something. You know, you have to look rich if you have to do it, deal with Adele. So you can't just do donkey or go horse. Horses, donkey or uh, poor people and working class people down so. And then horses are rich people stuff. So he went in somebody's barn. And I want donkey. Go watch a video. I want donkey the in there, but they make a donkey look like one horse. Cause they gonna show it from. They don't show the head. They show it from. <laughs> from the neck. Go back. So I uh, LA run at the body and the, I pet the hello. Adele, where are you, girl? I need you. Oh. <laughs> auto tune. I saw auto tunes work. By the time LA put little auto tune on that, it was ready to go. Good to go. Fabulous for a budget. Carry on. <laughs> Fabulous for a budget. But big up to LA and him family, the Royals. Yes, yes. <laughs> My day I drink some ginger tea. I'm feeling pretty good this morning. And you know I was kind of under the weather all week. You know, but that never hold me down. <laughs> feel well on the Bob's if it's top tech. Set pan him. Yeah, Bob's the grand, you need to leave him alone, not true? When them come uh revoke him seat up at the funeral there. No, but even the even the lady at the funeral, the, the, the family member elder, when they sit down beside, she tell him, say, get up and go on, man. Get up. But she never want to shame him, so she kind of she was like, get up and go on, man. After them come and tell him, say, you cannot sit here. The seat is reserved for me. I said to myself, say, LA. If then you want, you're there. All them family members there in the front row, them would have said, no, excuse me, mm -mm, leave him alone. He's like family to us, right? No, them, them silent because they didn't know how to tell us. So Jamaican people still, some of them, you know, they don't know if you tell you something, so they make somebody else tell you. 
So when time you see them I tell you in front of them and them now say nothing, just know say and them make them at you tell him, Kai, if me tell him, not that's <laughs> you you tell him, Kai, if me tell him, he will take it to heart and a good youth still, but you know, I mean I really want to hurt him feeling, but we don't want him up there neither. All right, so when it's when the service start, I go just make the pastor say, um, LA Lewis, you have to move because so and so. Right, can't see what may I watch the lady uh, the whole time? <laughs> she, she, see her, uh, and Ellie, I look upon her like you're not know, gonna defend me after all I've done for you. You're not know, gonna defend me. And she said, Just get up and go on, no man. Just just, just get up and go on, man. I say, other woman, they tell them to <laughs> tell them to move him. <laughs> she probably got a phone call before he got there. Yo, LA Lewis is here in all white, yeah, in all his maroon splendor. And in uh, upper front seat, him down, sit down, Miss Mavis. Oh, Jesus Christ. Upper front seat, you say? Yes. Right next to your seat, him down. Backside. All right, here what? Tell pastor, say, before the service start, you see? Does he tell him, say, not, not be too harsh, though, because I don't want to hurt him in feelings and sitting. Does he tell, because you know, he had not too good. Uh, we don't want no extra nothing in the idea. So does tell them, he tell him, say, just, just for, it, it's reserved for certain family members only. Uh, me, I go on like say me, you know. All right, all right. And go in. Hi, Ellie, how you doing? Everything all right? Yes, man. Glad to see you. You know, good to see you. You're here up there. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me before we get started. Uh, <coughs> we're gonna have to ask. Hello. Uh, yes, we're we're gonna have to ask Ellie Lewis. To <laughs> move your ass out of the people and family section. I, what is this? You, you're not going to defend me. Tell them, say, you want me to stay right there, so. Why you not look for me now? Tell them, say, you want you not, you not tell them, say, you want me to stay right there, so. See, woman with her big hat. She just throw down the big hat, so. I'm black him out, so. <laughs> Every time she come up like this. See, he's still here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll take him away now. He's still here. She's like, he's still here. And then just go on, no man. Yeah, man, just go on, man. We don't want the whole heap. And them fling you out, my friend. Them same one, they wicked. <laughs> them doing wicked. <laughs> but big up L.A. Lewis still. Because we're here talking about him. And that was his intent. So, it works. Right? Thin line between crazy and genius, they say. I mean, I know. I think he's a crazy genius. <laughs> hey, listen. L.A. is a freaking idiot. Let me do it. <laughs> Me not, me not lie. From now till the day I die, me not forget one time me call Chief Curry. Talk about, yeah man, come have the boy number in a car. The boy, him, him not, him not hard for, for getting in touch with him. No, come have the boy number. What's up on the phone? Uh, me not watching up. And me I said to myself, so watch this boy I go call somebody else now. I know Chief Curry my call at all. <laughs> man goes up. Ping, ping, pop, pop, boom, boom, boom. Film. Theme dial pad, the sound turn on. Some way, dial pad, the sound don't turn on. So when we dial number, you don't hear nothing. Silence. Theme, the sound turn on here. Ping, ping, pop, pop, boom, boom, boom. I say, I'm with my call. I have to see this. Because I don't to watch L.A. Lewis sitting there, but I have to see I'm with my call. Because any old Chief Curry answer the phone here. I have one good normal conversation with the man here. I call him right now. Because he must can give me an interview if he's out to talk to L.A. Lewis. Sensible. So I'm going to watch it. Me here, hello? Mr. Ross, that sound like Chief Curry for real. <laughs> Wait now. Mr. Ross, that sound like Chief Curry for real. Maybe there's somebody in Calway. Him knows that sound like Chief. Me still a doubt him, you know? I'm here. He ain't got to ask Chief Curry some chip in this. But yo, um, yeah. Um, so I'm one to the thing there. Where up and, and Chief Curry said, who, who is this? And he said, Chief, Chief, it's me, LA. Younger here. Yo, come off on my phone, man. Yo, <laughs> yo, come on from my phone, man. That's a rocks. It, they're not. I, I thought Chief and Chief was gonna link up. Two marine maroon chief did I gonna link up? That that ended quickly. That wasn't too good. Uh, yo, come on from my phone, man. <laughs> the Chief Curry. I, 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 he's Jamaican. He's Jamaican. Sometimes you just need to cut shit short. Uh, yo, come on from my phone, man. But, but LA had me laughing so damn hard at me. I laugh. Me 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 laugh. Me
<laughs> Rima <Prima> Riley. <laughs> Well, I don't laugh that moment that my belly weak out because <laughs> I can't believe him actually called the man. And then Chief Curry answered, you know, I said, okay, so Chief Curry is accessible. Like, he's not one of those people um, call your people and have your people call my people and they'll schedule a meeting and say, if L.A. Lewis can call him and get through to him, that means he's very accessible. See, a them thing that me I watch for. But I also thought there was going to be a conversation, you know, chief to chief. No, come on, hung phone, man. <laughs> Yo, Ross, God. Yo, big up LA, same way, yeah, man. Here, what? Wonder how LA Lewis get the man number. And that, me did a wonder too. But I don't think Chief Curry's number is hidden. I think his number is available for pretty much anybody to get. Me don't know. I don't know. If I was to reach out to him, and when I did reach out to him, I reached out to him through Instagram. And he did reply. So, you know. But me not see like a number listed over there or nothing like that. But then gonna ask the man some stupid question about yo. So I go on for that thing there. With it, it, something was happening at the, at the time, and then ask yo. So I go on for that like them have business together. Once Chief Curry realized says I'm mad sick at the phone. Yo, come off on the phone, man. Why? <laughs> Well, and the Mervyn the Point Jamaica curses the Queen dead, so LA move up in the line. I wonder where in position now. Because Charles Ton King, I want, I want LA to know. Royal Prince. Ratted. Royal, the Royal Jamaican Maroon Prince with British lineage to the Royal Family. Queen Elizabeth, grandson, the fifth or to the fifth degree or so. He might have sorted it out for me. I guarantee, watch out within the next day or two and see if L.A. Lewis done drop some video explaining now where he stands in the family, how he feels about the passing. He's probably under the weather right now, feeling a bit hurt and down because he just lost a close family member. So, you know, we have to sit with him and give him some time. He'll be making a video pretty soon. Watch and see. You know, sir, talking about Jamaica, gun laws, FLA, all that. Mr. L.A. Lewis would want gun on a video with it up on YouTube. Right? Somebody said to me, sir, so flow. L.A. and them man, they are gun man them. Why you think him can't talk up one bag of foolishness and nobody not do nothing to him? Because them man they link with certain and certain people and them a certain kind of way. I mean, I said, oh, I'm not afraid of nobody, so that don't mean nothing to it. Them link with probably who we link with and all these things. Anyhow, <laughs> may I watch a video? A tough talk, you know. May I watch a video? Missy see LA pull out one gun, so may I say, this gun is a prop gun. But when me see him drop the magazine, and when me see him start shell the bullet, them one one, so... I said, I don't have one illegal gun pan video pan YouTube or FLA found LA Lewis worthy of having a license to carry a firearm. Because we know enough Jamaican people who can't get a license to carry a firearm because, because they don't own enough land. Or them not have no bridging where is up in the up where can co-sign for them. Them not have the five signatures required from somebody where from over there. So them not. So me I wonder how how him get. It was a real gun. It was a real. If him never dropped the magazine, I'll miss a fake gun with magazine where you can drop already. But when him dropped the magazine and start leg of the bullet, them one one so. And I forget who him did I talk to on the video. I tell somebody so him serious and make him make them know say yeah I don't know joke thing and this is shortly before he changed his life and became a maroon king or prince or ambassador or whatever I want to call himself today. You know YouTube YouTube is that thing YouTube has come a pretty long way and the, <laughs> the one that we used to go on like either part YouTube when it first started here so I'm not exclude myself neither but we had to clean up the content and. It's it's been time. It's been time. So you grow and you change over time. Right? That's how you go. May I laugh so hard. 
Hello? Yeah, yeah, Chief. Who is this? A, a LA man. What, 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 for the yo, 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 come off on phone, man. Come off on phone. So, with that, <laughs> with that said, here we are this morning. Blessed love, bro, Shaka. Big up yourself. Uh, uh. I bet he'll be photoshopping himself somewhere into the funeral. I would, you want to bet? He's carrying the casket or he's front row. I, I, I guarantee you. He's carrying the casket or he's front row. Watch and see. Just get LA time. Right now, LA are weird. In the weird part, some things happen first. In the weird part, the little funeral procession. He's waiting on other kinds of festivities that will follow. He's waiting on Charles ascending to the throne. Big ceremony. He's going to be there too. He's going to be there too. Watch and see. I guarantee it. And if you're not, LA, may I give you some ideas. Take them and use them because we need the entertainment. Too much I go on right now. Too much I go on right now where we shouldn't have got through right now. So LA Lewis is that person who give us the laugh, you know? Yeah. Me not mind. I have nothing against him at all. Sometimes me even get offended when people call him idiot and fool. And, and, okay, we see that. We see that. We see that. But I ain't no hungry him someone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> remember what uh, LA make a whole video about me you know? uh, see again a lot of y'all a lot of y'all don't <laughs> we have one of those mornings I remember one time LA Lewis make a whole video about me uh, uh, LA they talk about me mouth LA Lewis say uh, watch out LA Lewis Dr. Love and Star Roasted by Soflo TV for this in Sizzla. L.A. Lewis uh, obsessed with Soflo TV's mouth. Sita. Is your car giving you a... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. it, Bring it in. We'll fix that. Because some people just are coming on. They don't know tires. about them history. Uh. Free. Well, I know. Let me skip over my commercial. So, want to see for yourself? Yes, man. L.A. Lewis, we see for yourself. <laughs> People, listen, welcome to Soul Flow TV. This is the most delusional Jamaican that I ever know. The man go all across Jamaica, right? Painting up his name How all over the this? place and convincing himself that he is some seven-star general, some god, some something. Look at the... Ex well, this I thing where, see them photoshopping Ninja Man with um, Dr. Love. I after he said some things about Ninja Man, Gason and Ninja Man said... L.A. Lewis and his gay son Spooky were actually really good friends. We, we have now, a history. This. Why? Solo. My name again. So um so flow. Yeah, so flow, so flow, so flow. Yeah man. Yeah, can you man that's name about social network? So flow, let's go. You the man the man just open more like that, like a penis in my vena more. Damn yeah, man, so F L O and so flow. See the so flow TV. So I'm not gonna submit it online for him because look said may try for this man well. Well, I never seen that. <laughs> yeah. I swear. <laughs> hey, big up to my people them who there from day one. You hear that? Because the all of the festivities them. <laughs> I calm, we are calm now, now. But me not like sometimes. Sometimes I look for a wife, you know, and I say, you know, some need some problem. You know, some feel like I want to stir up something in that today. Cause uh, she said, "Where I talk about?" I said, <laughs> "Yeah, I feel like more stir up the place today. Cause the place too quiet. Everybody too nice. 
Let me them time that YouTube did live nice, right? And LA <laughs> LA carried on and on about my mouth and about and then I thought it was weird at first, right? But then he made other videos about it. But this is one of them, just I show you. You have to talk about one next man mouth, you know. And then the man mouth remind you of girls will love kiss off your dick. I felt molested. I, f I felt. I felt. I will. You know? Let me start looking at him different now. I'm going to say, yo, the you tell, come. As much as me would have want a word, something, some other, I, I would have had to find some other way to word it. You see, sometimes though, you just make people talk, right? And it was no hard feelings to him after that because honestly, my channel was growing back then, but the channel was um, new to the scene kind of thing. See, the first time them did I hear, so flow TV, this is your host with the most, blah, blah, blah. And there's like, yo, who the new you tell we are talk up the things them black. I'm never afraid to talk about anybody. And I was talking about everybody and that kind of thing. And if somebody mentioned my name, you know, I go over there, go fire shot. And them skip on Dali and them fire back two shots. It was a war on YouTube. But me just a make no know. So me and LA have a history as well. So when you hear me mention him, it is from a place of history. And I just make it up this morning and decide to say, Queen dead at England, LA said he was family member. So me I gotta talk about that. See? Back in at them time there. Back in at them, <laughs> me surprised him not get a season this is yet. No, sir. Nobody now give no season this is cause LA no know how to seize our this is. <laughs> yeah, mad, somebody you deal with it. You have yeah, give mad man season this is. Eh? He don't know what season this is. is. You know, see, L.A. Lewis went to court and turned up in a court and even the judge said, I'm convinced something is wrong with you. You know what? Before we even go further with this, I am sending you for a mental evaluation. That just happened not too long ago in Jamaica. The judge said, I'm sending you for a mental evaluation because ain't no way. The type of stuff you're standing in front of me saying today, and him reject a uh, lawyer. You know, if you don't have an attorney, one will be appointed unto you. So, uh, no, I'm not want no liar. I can't defend myself. And then they say, I kidnap or kidnap me. <laughs> I saw, yo, I'm going to tell you about Jamaica, though. Fest, most festive place in our world. Anything you deal with in Jamaica, somebody did it to back you up. Yo, love the man alone, man. But I kidnap or kidnap him for real, yes. When I take him off the road, but after a man never do no nothing. If that's kidnapping. He's right. He has a case. L.A. Sue them, L.A. And next day on the year, L.A. Lewis goes and files lawsuit against so and so and um, says he was kidnapped, blah, blah, blah. Here is the documents and here is this and that. Like, him really, I don't know. He, but he's a staple. He's a staple within our culture and our society and he's made himself that. You see me? Whether you like it or not, I, I him that. I him that. I mean, I know what feelings about them. I laugh. I laugh. But me I show you, say, me and him go through this already. That man, yeah. Find a video, right? 
that was going to put him in the wrong. Him said, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I went about to try for me. I skip on, go back up. LA. Yes, 10 million. And Sean Paul of the highest. Um, so this is the list of the count. Who else can I do? Who else can I do? Watch this. Who else can I do? All right. So the Sean Paul of the beam. He's. Um, who is the one of them? All right, come on to LA. Lewis now. Da 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 People, introducing the king of social media. That's why I can go away for a million years and come back and still be the dad. L.A. Lewis, 21 million flat Zoom, the boss. 21 million videos and 21 million videos on the boss. Let's go back to the floor. All right, so far, let's go back to the floor. All right, see, it's the soul floor, yeah? I look more soulful mode set. The man mode, I just look like a girl who kiss off the dick. Damn. No, the man mode, man, man. Why the man mode can't say that I don't like picture of them? Look at the man mode, man. Look at the man mode, man. Watch the man mode. Watch the man put in figure in the mode. Watch the man. The man is like, no put things in the mode. I don't know, star. Oh, Jesus. It's a ninja man, I know people. 10 million. 10 million. No, people. Look at the soul floor, man. Now, look at no soft flow, no idea about soft. People who want Jesus. Look at soft flow mode. The one who got them soft dick. Yeah, because you know what them girls like is up. But come on, man. I saw the man mode look. What all I have to do? Yo. Uh, <laughs> bro, Shaka say, you can't say him no love himself. You hear me now? Um, who else? Nicole Coleman, big up yourself and thank you for being here. And uh, let me see. Stop giving LA relevance and all that. Easy yourself, man. Pussy galore. It's not that serious. When are we going to talk about the topic? Stop giving LA relevance. See, some of y'all, right? <clears throat> Check it out. You, you pay a little membership and you come on through and then you act funny. And it's not like that. Okay? Because I know how me do over here already. There is no script structured to how we do this. And this is what freedom looks like. I understand your life is like this. You get up in the morning at 6 a.m. You have to be at work and clocked in by 7. You have 30 minutes lunch break and you have to be clocked out by 4 p.m. If you spend 30 minutes extra upon the clock and fire you and you have to be in. This is your third time late for the month. If I you late one more time, we're going to have to let you go kind of stuff. I know everybody lives so chill, chill. I have that problem too. When I go to Jamaica, I move like I'm on the clock and people are fair tell me, say, slow down, man. You know, in a Jamaica where them tell us, say, yo, I'm soon come. All right, that's no set. That soon come there mean in our evening. If them tell us I'm soon come a morning, that means I'm done in our evening. Then I return. We soon come. I'm mad at my cousin because he not showing up in 15, 20 minutes. And then him show up and him I laugh. And him, <laughs> he's laughing and he's like, Why you, yo, why are you so upset? Oh, I'm, I'm Mr. Brother, you tell me, say you soon come from when? And then I say, Cuz, chill, man. Chill. It's really not that serious. You know what I mean? You over here say, why may I give LA relevance? Big up to LA Lewis. I want away. Right? I want away. It's not about giving him relevance. It's one away. See, me no hold on people. I mean, I like disrespect people and throw hate upon people and these things. So big up LA, man. We were having a moment. We were caught up in the moment, pussy galore. Pussy galore, big up yourself same way. Right? All right. Since you want to get into some other topic topic now since i get into some other topic now we could talk about this now good news for jamaica adrian lang the father of 12 year old burn victim adriana is breathing a sigh of relief and is optimistic that his daughter will get the desired treatment in the united states of america so Y'all know that $40,000 US dollars was what it came to. And I said yesterday that, come on now, Prime Minister, Minister of National Security, all these big head figureheads, take like a shame out of your eye. And I said that because it was their job to make sure that Jamaica has a burn unit in 2022. Can't call yourself independent. And then when things happen in your house, you have to run to your mama house or your master's house 
or your neighbor's house. That means you're not independent. You're dependent upon others, right? All right. The money came forward. So the flight departed the Norman Manley International Airport minutes after 6 p.m. yesterday, which means she flew out of Jamaica yesterday. Good news. See? Because you know that time is of the essence. Adriana is her name. Adriana is the lone survivor of the tragic inferno that took the life of her three younger brothers. Nine-year-old Adrian O. Leng, seven-year-old twins Jordan and Jaden Leng, and totally destroyed their home in Westmoreland on Sunday. The four children were to attend school on Monday. That was the first week of school. Daddy had all their stuff laid out, right? Adriana, who was seen at the University Hospital of the West Indies Surgical Intensive Care Unit since the incident, is suffering from third-degree burns and needed $40,000 US dollars to be flown overseas for treatment. Why the world? Wicked, you know? Because upon both sides, if you think about being a humanitarian, as rich as the US is, nobody couldn't say, listen, forget about the money. We just want to help that little girl. Come on through. Nope. That's why I say to you, I don't want nobody to tell me about money is not everything and what is your money without your principles. Make one of your grand picnic them or your picnic them get bun up and you don't have the $40,000 there. Them dead. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Them dead. So therefore, money ain't everything, but in this world we live in, you better have it when the shit hits the fan, my friend. Or else the people that have the resources... They will hold on to the resources until you get that damn money. And if you can't get it, then we'll watch you perish. That's the kind of world we live in. That's reality. Not blowing smoke up your uha. Not fantasy talk. Reality talk. See? Big up the vibes cartel. Let me say it again. Let me set it that way there. Him picking them now for ask nobody for nothing. Enough man must go to get locked up. And them family just pop down and mash up. And everybody I laugh. And I talk about John No Star, the man, the ideal of their prisoner, the 30 years, and look at him mute them. Everybody fall apart. You got to set it. Your time is limited here. Anyhow, it's funny how all these so-called kind people and loving people who have our best interests at heart, nobody extended a hand and said, come on through. We'll help her. Don't worry about that 40000 Damn. So you see some money needed, right? Okay. The people who are involved in making this happen, though, I think we have a big demo up this morning. Julie Tapper, I appreciate you greatly. Thank you so much. The people who are involved in this, we have a big demo up because when people support you, you support them back. Support the people who support you, right? And that's how we make this thing go around. Trinity, so Corporate Jamaica, the government charity organization and individuals answered the call. Be specific. Trinity Air Ambulance flew the child to Atlanta where the special surgery will be performed at the Joseph M. Still Center in Austell. It's overwhelming. The father of the children spoke. He said, it's overwhelming. My heart, the heaviness, just take a slip. Just a little bit because I know that she have life and she is off to get treatment so she can get a second chance. The father told the media at the airport today, which was yesterday. The tears were flowing as he watched his daughter taken by the air ambulance and placed inside of the aircraft. I must say a huge thank you to the whole entire world who come on board. And I must say a big thanks to Samerna and Mr. Josephs. Leng said, Robert White, Managing Director of Smyrna, um, let me make sure I said them name right, is San Myrna, S-A-N-M-E-R-N-A, -E San Myrna. Robert White, who is the Managing Director of San Myrna Paper Products, said, teamwork makes the dream work. Getting all this done was a teamwork, and we are grateful for the cooperation. And we want to thank the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Kamina Johnson-Smith, the Westmoreland MP, Moreland Wilson, 
PICA, or P-I-C-A, an organization, and the Council General Oliver Mayer and the Dias... In so, okay, the Council General Oliver Mayer, that event that I told you about, Love and Nostalgia, that is keeping in Florida to commemorate Jamaica's 60th is going to be hosted by Oliver Mayer, right? So Oliver Mayer got on board. He is here in this part of the world. Made sure that she came through uh, to get our treatment on this part, uh, side of the world. White, who is also the director of the San Myrna Foundation, heaped hearty commendations on corporate Jamaica and Scoops Unlimited. Scoops Unlimited is the manufacturers of the popular Devon House ice cream. So when you're in Jamaica or if you see it anywhere else, make sure you shell out your little money and you support the products. Devon House, I've always been a supporter of Devon House ice cream anyway. I think that's like your top tier ice cream in Jamaica anyways, right? Roman Reyes, not my thing. All right. Devon House came through and they donated. So most of the money was taken up from other angles, donations, different, different people. Licka, licka. Devon House, yeah, laugh about me. Roman Reyes, ice cream. <laughs> Oi, <Oy>, sir. <laughs> No man they want it Roman raisin after that, you know. Why for the Roman raisin? When, when him say, see the squad here. She said, "Why tastes like?" Squad say, "Roman raisin." <laughs> ah, all right. Let me get back to this. All right. So uh, the money was coming. <laughs> Yeah, you see, I'll brush a card, let people let Bridget listen. So, <laughs> all right. So, Ro Roma Raisin, no, not Roma Raisin. The money came, the money came from different angles, <laughs> different angles, different directions. See, and uh, <laughs> time was running out. Collectively, they put this thing together. Um, the $40,000, and she's off. These people, though, the uh, <laughs> San Marino Foundation, heap heart recommendations on corporate Jamaica and Scoops Unlimited. Big up to Scoops Unlimited. Scoops Unlimited donated 10,000 US dollars straight out by themselves already. And the rest was got from anywhere else. So that's why I miss it. When you say Devon House and them ice cream products and these things, you just run in and support the thing. All right? That's how we do. So the San Marino Foundation, which has led the charge in three burn victim receiving care in the U.S. so far, said that they will continue to do whatever they have to do to continue saving lives. It's sad that we have to take up donation every time anything like this happened. But, you know, people came through and we can do, do nothing more, say nothing more than be thankful. A life was on the line here. And it looked like that people did have to make their life they fade away. A young, promising young lady. They were going to let her life fade away if we couldn't come up with the 40000 Sad, but I want you to think about that. So she's in the U.S. now and she's getting her proper care that's needed. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for her because I do remember the last lady that they sent to the U.S. for treatment that got burnt up in Jamaica. Even though she came to the U.S. and got the treatment, she still passed away from those injuries. Seen? So I hope this little girl live. But if she live, it's going to be a rotted story to tell. Her three brothers, she's number four. Four siblings, three brother them dead in the same fire that scarred her for life. She's going to have a lot of, she's going to have a lot of therapy to go through. And hopefully she'll get, not just, she's going to have a lot of psychological scars is what I should say as well as to go along with her physical scars. And I hope that she's able to get those kind of help too, um, as needed. <clears throat> with that said, segue right into the situation that happened. Something not right. Something is not right. Kaz Robinson says someone has to live to tell how it happened. Something is not right, my friend is a board house dwelling, right? Let me tell you. Me, me a country picnic. 
the little boy them, the three of them, they look healthy and fit and everything. Something all right. You see, my house catch on fire, I run through the window. Bashling, mashing out, dive through the window. Somebody said to me yesterday, says, so Flo, don't be surprised if when autopsy done, you hear, say, those youths had ingested something that caused them to be unresponsive while that fire was blazing. You know, somebody else says, so Flo, me, hear, me, me see the father interview, you know, me hear the father I say, him hear somebody about fire, fire. But him never really paid no mind still. That's why it get to that far before him reach there. Something about this not right. Somebody else also said uh, the mother of the children is not the mother for all of the children. She is the mother though for the three boys that died. She's not the mother for the girl. I think is their grandmother did an interview. If she can remember, would be a good thing. If she can remember, would be a good thing. And I was told that he was not the one that pulled her out of the fire. Or somebody else go pull her out of the fire. Yes, the mother is missing. The girl's mother is also missing. That's what you say. Menor said the boy's mother is missing. And she's been missing since last year. So which one of them missing recently? And you know, he, she, she wasn't listed in Jamaica missing person as someone that's missing and we need to look out for her. He had her on social media. Both of them missing. Him did have her on social media according to what I read out of the star yesterday or the, the gleaner, one of them put out yesterday that he had her on social media saying, if anybody knows her whereabouts, please contact your local police or call 119 or something like that. I mean, I said to myself, say, can I say it? Can I say it without somebody being offended? If you don't know him, tell him don't watch this. Did pressure take him? I find it hard to believe that all four children were unresponsive throughout this blazing fire. Remember, I know, man. Fire not just start and then boom, and the whole place in a fire. And a fire I gotta start there so and run and catch the curtain, start blaze for the curtain. A wood. Wood I gotta take a time for light, then wood I gotta burn, right? Smoke. People are ball fire. Not one of the picnic them. Never responsive enough to say, oh, the house step on fire, the house step on fire. Nobody no smell that. It's not a big house, my friend. The house look like a square. And it look like one of them places there where everything could have fit in just one little space. And I don't know, big house where it's like, oh, the west wing was on fire and we were on the east wing, so we didn't hear it. The house is a house where you can run straight through. Boom, through the front and fly through the back door. It's not no big house. So what the hell happened that these kids and the house never grill up? So it's not like them can't say the kids were trying to get out, but we didn't lock the grill and we didn't lose the key for the grill and we couldn't tear off the grill to get them out. No grill, no depth on the house or nothing. So what was it? Why these children all perished inside of this house? Now, I, I have to compare certain things. But they are Jamaica, right? May, may, one of them time here, recent, in recent times, me, wifey, and the two babies, we went to Jamaica and we got a lovely place. It was a whole house, but it was a community of houses in our gated place. And we got sleep. I think I told you all this before. Apparently, the children were playing. And when them a player, we have a gas stove in the house. And when them a player, one of them, Kai or Malani, well, it must have been Kai because Malani wasn't that big enough to do that yet. Kai must have turned the, the gas sitting. All right. We never think nothing of it. Me go out of Jamaica, me there. 
You know, I go out the door and enjoy the ambience. I burn a little spliff in the night there. Eh? Take in the vibes. You hear the Pini Wally and them get louder. The Pini Wally call them. You know, we hear them get louder. Oh, I'm in Jamaica. I feel good. I go lay down. It was about 8, 9, about 9 o'clock in the evening. I go lay down. 10 o'clock, them time there. By the time midnight to 1 o'clock come, my wife jump up. And she has said, and the, the house had two bedrooms. Me and Kai was sleeping in one bedroom. Wifey and the baby, because they had a crib in there and everything, was sleeping in the other bedroom. Wifey jump up and say, you don't smell that. And Francis she said, you don't smell that. Me fly out of my sleep, out of my bed, everything. And me, I say, yeah, what that? It smell like gas, right? So we start, look around now. The first thing we do, don't like nothing, don't do nothing. We start opening up. All the window them and this house that we were in, it had grills on all the windows and everything. So I open up everything. But just for sure, you said just the smell of the gas woke everybody up in that house. No fire never start. So in a, this case, though, he said it was a candle. He light the candle, he put on the candle, and him gone out the door. Because them did not experience a power cut. You light the candle with them little picnic in the house. You put on the candle and you're gone. We just have power outage. Away I go. And you left your picnic them in there. And none of them are old enough to say, oh, y'all can be home by yourself kind of thing. Maybe I'm being a bit American here. But those children weren't big enough to be left alone by themselves at home. I don't know. Something is just weird about this. And then where the hell is the woman them? Where the woman them there? Somebody says, so Flo, it was a domestic situation going on at the house as well when the mother disappeared. I may say, talk to me straight, man, because I don't know what domestic situation mean. Domestic situation for me is your sister come by and your husband sleep with your sister. Domestic situation that. If you are talking about beat up and abuse, then we need to just say beat up and abuse. Was there beating going on at the house? Was he... Beat it because this is the picture here painted. Anyhow, beaten did a go on that lead up to her disappearance. You see what I say? And then now, house catch a fire and all of the picnic them dead. That's a whole different picture that's going to be painted besides this single father that got left by the women of his children and he's over here struggling by himself. To raise these kids on his own, kind of thing. Minna day of a massage, no man, ego, or no part of no man. I think this looks suspicious. I, I, I didn't want to say it yesterday because I had to think about how I was going to say it. Because, like I said before, these are parts of the earth that I frequent, I walk. I don't want to run into people like, oh, dog, I ask time, so I'm trying to make it look like I'm kill off and pick them or nothing. If me see him, or if him see me, I would gladly have a conversation because me want to know. Even if it, somebody know him, please tell him, call me. Because me just want to know. Me want to know. And I'll help whichever way I can help. You know, because you know, just want to run in from people thing. I don't want nobody to feel like I'm trying to take stripes for their story. But it don't, something about this just don't sit right with me. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Morning, SoFlo. You don't see um the interview. The, in the first place, the father wasn't crying on the first, first interview. That's what people was telling me. That's the first thing somebody contacted me and said, SoFlo, in mannerisms, tell me, give me a chill and tell me some different kind of story. I may say, I haven't seen it. Send me the link. But they didn't send me the link. So... So Flo, over Father Epic TV, one of the family members called over there and said the man I molest the little girl and somebody else in the community I molest the little girl and report that person. Threatening him, say, if he gets in trouble, he can't say, he, he, he. Wait, 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 clear up your, clear up your phone. Clear up your phone, because no one hear this. Because I... So, over Father Epic TV, the family members called over there. You have me on speaker or you have me on Bluetooth? No. Okay. So what do I say again? 
Over Father Epi TV, one of the family members called over there yesterday mm -hmm. and said that the father is molesting the daughter. And he found out that someone else is also molesting the daughter. And he bring the child to see so can report that person. And the person threatened to report him also. Ross. Really? Yeah, the video over Father Epi TV. Now, now uh, be understood... I don't know how we do things over here. This is all allegations, right? And this is stuff that's been said. But, like I said, there has to be more to this than this. Something not right. Something not right about this. Yeah, something not right. The first, first interview, he wasn't crying. It's like nothing never happened. And I said, okay, reality is not cheaping yet. Yeah, and that me, that, you hear me yesterday when I said everybody don't grieve the same. And sometimes people just blank out because they're so gone. Come here, try to give him the benefit of the doubt in this. But the more I think about it last mm. night to this morning, I said to myself, said, no. I think about a board house. I think about how the house stay. I think about the children, them, full of energy, everybody healthy, everything. And everybody just lay down and just burn so. Nobody never jump up and say, the house, the power fire, and run out the door or nothing. Exactly, or the house born all the way to scratch before nobody sees. Before so it's like the family members are saying it's either the friend when accused burn it down or him burn it down because the friend threatened to report him and molest the daughter too. And the part where him say him hear somebody has a fire, but him just never did pay no attention to it because they were asking him, so how you get back, how you get this so late? I mean the house burning you know? up. The house burn up, you know. And I like piece of the house burning, you know. The house burn to crisp, you know. So how you got there so late? And how far away were you? Did you leave these little children? And how come none of them not escaped? We just have too much questions here, man. And now me I hear yes. this. She also said he wasn't close by. He was in Burns up playing music. So he wasn't close by? No. Those are the allegations being made by family members. You know what? May I reach out to some people? Me want to hear. I want some people talk to me because me just want me want to know this. I don't feel. I don't. I, I don't think this. This not sit easy with me. This not sit easy with me at all. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. Not not just like that. You buy this? No, it's fishy. From the first first video, it's fishy. Thank you. So I know me alone. It's amazing how no, like these people not asking no questions though. The people them is just like, oh my, but me understand it's something shocking because, you, I mean, it's a bunch of picnic dead. But nobody not asks no question. Everybody is like, okay, um, I guess that, that happened. Moving right along. So, well, we're watching to see what happened because the people is going to be talking. All right, family. Thank you. You see that link, right. the link there to that channel? Them, I want to hear that interview. I want to hear the um, interview there. Uh, where, where the channel Father there? Epic. It's on Facebook. Father Epic TV. All right. May I go over there? Uh, let me write that down. Thank you. Here. Yeah. All right. Bless up. She said Father Epic on Facebook. May I go there? Because me want to hear it. Me want to hear that. Something not right. And I know, I know, people usually don't do this because somebody is sitting somewhere saying, watch a boy, watch a boy, call up my name in the wrong way. Watch a boy, style me, watch a boy, this. But sometimes you have to get past all that, right? If something don't sit right with your spirit, something just don't sit right with your spirit and you have all right to say something. Something about this does not sit right with my spirit and I think I have all right to ask some questions and to say something. You see, children, are we children depend upon, you know, children depend on their parents first. If parents fail them, they depend on all the other adults around a community, whether the community is global, worldwide, on the internet, or immediately in their circle, their community, them depend upon others to step up for them, to ask these questions, these very valid questions on their behalf. Me wouldn't like for me one little boy I know so them burn me up in a house and nobody never asks no question and me just dead and gone. So no, my little life never come to nothing. 
I don't, I don't, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this. It don't sit right with me. At all. May I go, may I go in my Facebook thing, you know? My computer ain't connected to Facebook, though, but I'm... I'm going on the Facebook thing. She said, Father Epic. I, I encourage y'all to look at this more, man. And hopefully, proper autopsy is done. I know he's a disc jockey. I know he plays music. So he was probably, he probably got to play a party or something, right? And I know it's careless, but people do it all the time. It's not like America, where you left your picnic at home and you might go to prison. If anything happened to them, for sure. In Jamaica, people do it all the time. Left the picnic them go party. All right, so I'm going to find the channel. I'm going to find the channel, but I'm going to see much of anything over here. Just big quotes and whatnot. Yo, that's freaking crazy. Queenie addresses the exposed video plus robot pretty dad. And that's all I see over here. DJ Black speaks his mind about Silk Boss. Then him have some stuff over here um, that you can go check out. But I have to go search it proper. When y'all find it, if you want to go over there, if you guys go over there and you find it, because this is how it's showing up for me. It's taking up my whole computer page. Um, page. So I saw it to show up for me, and now I show up like a regular Facebook. So if you find it, send me the link, come to here. And all the other, I'm going to go dig myself, but I'm saying, especially those of you in the chat room, because I don't know how the chat room stay already. So I'm going to dig myself and try to find out some things, find out if. The, put these interviews together. I want. I saw the grandmother. This is what first got me. What first got my, you know, when they hear them stand up on the back of your neck. What first got me like that? Check. I am Andre Stevens. Check, yeah, big up to Andre. Andre be doing some good investigative work. Um, channel on YouTube. All right. I'll check out Andre channel on YouTube. But, so, listen, what first got me like this was when the, uh, again, I don't remember if it was Star or Gleaner or whatever, but they did a, them got talked to the grandmother. They went to the scene and she was standing there at the burnt out house. And of course, she's a grandmother. These are all her grandkids. She's in hysterics. She's in hysterics. Live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Hey, hey, brother. Brother. Morning, how you doing? Sister from Australia. Yeah, so I'm just uh, listening live now, but I don't know if that's a situation, but I'm a little So, we said that there was like a car and people. What? Like, what? Wait, yeah. wait. Uh, do you have us on Bluetooth wait. or on something? Because no. I can't hear you. Shoot, maybe it's probably because um, I'm dealing with a Nokia phone, like a banger phone. So um, yeah, maybe I, and I don't have headphones, so shit. Um, oh, you, that, you sound good now, though. Oh, is that all right? Yeah, you That's sound right now. Yeah, you're good now. Oh, okay. Well, okay, good now. So, Tom, just like, uh, I only, I'm only catching like just what you've just said. Tell me what what happened because it's from what i just heard it sounds horrific what happened well a house fire happened in jamaica 
and uh, right. four children got burnt up in the house fire. One survived, mm. and she got flown out of the country yesterday to get medical treatment in the U.S., but her three brothers died in the fire. Mm. Right, so, you know, the situation looks kind of suspicious. Of course. It doesn't of look course. like it was just an accident. What the fuck? Like, um... Um, how old was like the oldest person in the house? So there were kids. It, it was honestly, all kids. Honestly, it was all honestly, small honestly. kids, and they were left alone in the house. I'm sorry. Like I say, so the youngest would there be seventeen or fifteen or twelve or or younger or eight or what? No, they were. Mm -hmm. I, I think none of them were over twelve. None of them were over. I think the the oldest was what ten or eleven. Something like that. The, oh, the little girl was the oldest. That's this. No, this, this. That's that's like I don't have any words. I can tell you when I was in Seaview, right? There was a period I was in Seaview, right? I was um, looking. I was in kind of looking after this. The, uh, like it was a very complex situation. There were like like it was literally there were like slave children there, right? And I was like just looking after him because because everyone else went to go drink and party, right? Mm -hmm. So I was the only fucking adult in the house. But I don't understand. I don't understand on any level. I don't understand. I'm so like, no, that's. I can't how, how understand. Somebody could leave. I can't understand. Yeah. Did they say like where the okay, so they're saying it's a fire, right? So how did the fire start with the like electricity? The house to have to have light or what? No, their father lit a candle and put the candle down because they had a uh wow, that's a lot of power outage. That's right. I mean I mean I can't say I wasn't there, but I can't say, but but where is the fire now? I'm sorry, I don't even speak that. I don't know. That's really Yeah. Uh, like, my condolences to like everybody in the family. That's too much, mate. Too much. The kids. All right. Listen. <laughs> let, let, yeah, I'm about to play this video right now for um for the audience. All right. All right. I want to shit now. Yeah, I want to shit now. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna be out for a while, so I'll I'll be watching. Yeah, thanks so much. All right, take care. Yeah. All right. Bye. bye, -bye. Um. Yeah. And I remember I'm telling us that you know different people, you know different people, different minds, different whatever. So we don't really we don't do people certain way, regardless of now. I'm, mommy missing, children died in house, fire in Westmoreland, what is happening? And this was Andre's live. But me see, I'm gonna talk. Something all right. I'll do, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will do my due diligence on my own, put this together and come back to you guys, right? It might be before the end of today or it might be throughout the weekend. We don't normally do weekend shows, but I might, I might have to this time. Mega dig, mega dig. I don't know what about the girl, man. The girl, you, you already, y'all already know that she have our issues and... You know, she call you and ask her what she said. That's beside that. Uh, they said that the father was on Andre's show. And he was, and that's what I was trying to find to play for you guys. And did I cry? Live on the air with SoFlo. Can you take them for live, please? Take you off the live? Yeah. Okay.
All right, Mike Live again. Um, man, hear me out, guys. I don't. Me not bite. Me not bite. At all. Let me ask you all this, right? If you're an adult, right, and even if you're going to be irresponsible and say leave your children and go out for the night, right, would you light a candle and put the candle down and left it there and left the kids in the house? No, right? Okay. If my kids are dead asleep, and I'm being irresponsible, so I'm going to sneak out, go catch a sneaky link or something. I wouldn't light a candle, leave the candle burning, and leave the kids sleeping and go out. No sane adult does this. I'm telling you all right now, something does not make sense about this whole thing. But we're going to get more into it. You know what? We're going to end the live this morning right here, sir. So. Uh, quit while we're ahead. I want to put this together. I actually got some material just now, um, which I'm going to go listen to and stuff. So we're going to put this together. Thick as well. I went to Sheffield All Age School. So the school that the three boys that died went to, that's the same school I went to. Yeah, the, same, the same, the um, same. Then come from Springfield. Majority of my family members come from Sheffield and Springfield. So all the stuff, all the questions that babe are asking are the same questions that I'm currently asking my family members. So we got we got some new stuff just now on yeah. the phone. That's why I mean you have to take her off our live. So I'm gonna go listen to all that and put this together and come back. But something very suspicious are going. Uh, I I don't know. I'm not buying. I same thing. I said I I told my mom yesterday. I was like, this is very weird because we live in a boathouse forever and we have never left Kango with Pitney in a boathouse and gone about with business like that's that's weird. I want him to say that's irresponsible. Hear people as a fire, but I need to say nothing. Yeah, you never, never pay no attention to it till too late. Uh -huh. Wear him stay and hear people as a fire. fire. You know, if like I got bad, too much questions. I can't take out to toy in the bag, so now I can't take out to toy in the oh, bag. Oh, your dad what, hid some of his toys and he's been trying to get them out because he got too many and they're yes, all over the place. Yeah. All right, y'all got Jim? Yeah. Babe, come here. Let me close out a video here like this this morning. Say bye bye, Papa. Bye. Peace. You good? Mm -hmm. All right. May I try to convince me? Yeah, I'm going to you convince yourself to yeah, yeah. Literally, yeah. I like hey, these are good, these are good workout shorts for 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 women that you know why you name Judah Lion or Lion of Judah or something. He says you're an Israelite Empress and you must make me show your body up and all these kind of things. <laughs> like him will take you and bring you into his tabernacle and all right, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yo, the brother, the brother stay up on our channel himself. But big him up same way, cause at least it's I'm, I don't know, it's supportive. But he him said she must make me lead her astray. Uh, all these things. Anyhow. My brother was clapping my hand so hard. Your brother was clapping your hand so hard? Yeah. Say bye to these people, boy. And let bye. me get off this thing. Say bye. Bye. All right, we're gonna go sort your toys out, okay? Yeah. All right, Daddy, coming. Hey, listen, y'all have a wonderful weekend. Manners and respect to each and every one of you tuning in. Stay close to people who lift your vibration up. All right, go outside and get some sun. And these things were melanated people. We work with the sun, believe it or not. Raise your energy. 
pay attention to the story. Really, though. Pay attention to the story. I'll be back with more. All right. I'm out. Peace.